Hi, in this video I'm looking at this question here where we're given the velocity of a particle moving in a straight line to be this equation and we want to find the acceleration in terms of x. So if we look at our equation we've got velocity in terms of position where position is a function of time to be 2 plus the natural log of x where x is greater than 0 and we want the acceleration in terms of that x. So our aim is to get a function of acceleration in terms of position. Now, I know that our velocity is a function of position, which is 2 plus ln x. So how do I link these two together? Well, if I think about acceleration, we know that acceleration is the derivative of velocity with respect to time. So if I play around with the chain rule, I can show that our acceleration, instead of being just a derivative of velocity with respect to time, I can show that it's the derivative of velocity with respect to position times by the derivative of position with respect to time. And I know that if those two cross out, I've got dv dt, which is what acceleration is. Now, if I look at dx dt, dx dt is velocity. Velocity is the derivative of position with respect to time. And so I can rearrange my acceleration equation now to say, well, instead of dx dt, I can just replace it with v times dv dx. And this works for me because I've got velocity. It's already told to me. And that velocity equation is in terms of x. It's a function of x, so I can derive it with respect to x. So let's do that now. Let's find dv dx. So velocity is 2 plus ln x, and if I derive that with respect to x, derivative of 2 just cancels out, and derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So now if I go back to my acceleration equation, I want the velocity and I've got velocity up here, it's 2 plus ln of x. And then I've got to times that by the derivative of velocity with respect to position, which is 1 over x. So our equation becomes 2 plus ln x all over x. So if you're given velocity as a function of position, you can use the train rule to get acceleration as a function of position through times in the velocity with a derivative of velocity with respect to x.